They're really good. Really good. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. Happy August, everyone, and welcome to the West Texas VA Healthcare System. I'm Marsha. I'm one of your registered dietitians, and welcome to Healthy Cooking with Marsha. Today is, well, it's still August. This week is National Leave Zucchini on Your Neighbor's Front Porch Day. And that's been a thing for several years. I did a little newspaper article on it one time because this time of year, we have so much zucchini that we don't know what to do with it. The reason that we worry about doing something with zucchini is that because it's so healthy. It is so good for you. So high in nutrition, so low in calories, so high in vitamins and minerals, you know, trace elements, everything. So I thought, what could we do with all that extra zucchini? We have zucchini cake, zucchini marmalade, zucchini salad, zucchini chocolate cake, zucchini pancakes. It's because zucchini is so healthy. People try to find ways to eat that zucchini. I'm going to do quick pickles. So quick pickles are a little bit of a different take on pickles. They're still salt and vinegar, and you can add sugar if you want to make them uh, bread and butter. But because they're quick pickles, you keep them in the fridge. They don't last quite as long, but you get a lot of the good benefits of having pickled vegetables. You get that good, you know, vinegar, tangy, really good as a side dish, or, you know, just a side garnish. Really tasty. I went ahead and made a saucepan full of vinegar and water. Red pepper, like the pizza pepper that you get at the pizza place. It's got some pickling salt. The reason we use pickling salt is because it dissolves a little more readily, cooks down more easily. So I've got a pound of zucchini here. The recipe calls for two pounds. I'm just going to slice them up. When last we talked, I was cutting up zucchini. So I've got all my zucchini cut up now. I've got some fresh dill, not out of my garden this go around. I bought it at the grocery store, but it is real easy to grow and it will take over the garden. So I've got that fresh dill that I'm gonna sprinkle in there and the amount will be in the recipe. I used just a little bit less because I don't think it was all that pretty and it got a little wilty in there. Um, but dill really makes, makes the, the flavor good. The other thing I had problems finding is mustard seeds. So look for mustard seeds in your community before you try to make this. I had to use ground mustard, which I know affects the taste. And then I've got a small red onion. Red onions are very healthy. They're going to turn your pickles a little bit pink, but that good purple pink color means it's got a lot of good also antioxidants and, and good nutrition. So I've got that small red onion. The recipe is going to tell you to cut certain vegetables certain ways, but my, my zucchini yesterday that I was cutting was this big around. The zucchini that I'm working with today is this big around. So use your judgment. I did not have a small red onion. I had to cut part of a big red onion. So it's just cut in kind of slivers. I've got that. And that looks really pretty. Gives it a lot of good color. And then I've got garlic. And I used fresh garlic because I love fresh garlic. Um, I didn't do anything to this but slice it thinly. So there's my garlic, there's my dill, my onions, my zucchini. All I have to do is go heat up my broth or heat up my pickling liquid so that I'm pouring boiling vinegar, water, salt, and spices on this zucchini. We'll give it a stir and it's ready to go. It will keep in your refrigerator up to a week. They talk about putting it in pickle jars. Well, I couldn't find any pickle jars, so a glass bowl with saran wrap is the next best thing. So I've got the pickles that I made yesterday. And you can see they turned a little pink from that red onion, but that's a good thing. And Heather has got her own little bowl and a fork, and she's going to try them for us. They're really good. 
really good. Excellent. <laughs> Very good. So as I said, you could add a little sugar if you want to make them bread and butter. You could add a little stevia or Splenda, the swerve you talked about, so that you could get a little bread and butter taste without having all that sugar. Thank you so much. So glad you were here today. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. I um, really appreciate you tasting. She's a zucchini girl. I said that already. Remember to reach out to your registered dietitians if you have any questions, if you want to attend. We have diabetes class. We have move weight management classes. We have cooking classes. It's all here for you. And we're just a phone call away. We also talk to veterans one-on-one -on -one and love to do that. So we're just a phone call away here at the West Texas VA. Thank you so much for being with us today.